Expo back in 2005, and uh, I, met a, I met a nun there, and she was convinced that the Last Supper occurred in the room under her church, yeah. or the church that she was at. And uh, I always see the pictures of the Last Supper being like, this vast room, a huge table. But when we entered, actually entered this room underneath, it was actually really quite small. It was, uh, probably would have been anywhere near the amount of room there that where one of those tables would have fitted. Yeah, the Last Supper thing is a very... Uh... Can you imagine, like, I'm just getting together with my mates, having a meal, and there's women there too, obviously, like, the men and women are all there. Um, my soulmate's there. We're just getting together, having a meal, right, in somebody's house. That's all that happened. Um, and, and I had some feelings about uh, J uh, Judas's actions, you know, that he was being duplicitous with me. Um, but I didn't say much about that. Um, I noticed he left part way through the meal, but but honestly, when there's 20 or 30 people in a room, you don't notice who comes and goes and where they might be going, do you? Like, you know, you don't. They could be going to the toilet for all you know, right? And uh, and although I knew that he was probably going somewhere else, um, I didn't say much about it, and I didn't think too much about it either. I was just enjoying a lot of times with my friends. Really, that's all I was doing. We were we were in a hiding because it was a little. Um, things were a little topsy-turvy, shall we say, with regard to the Jewish Sanhedrin's response to my being in Jerusalem at the time. But, um, but yeah, it was, you know, it, it was a small, smallish room. There was no great big single table where we all sat around. Um, the way, you know, usually what we did was sat on the floor, or usually the way that a, a room was organised for a meal was it, you would just lay on sort of divans all the way around, and, and eat, and uh, yeah, so it was just a normal, just a normal meal, and it's been made into this, you know, and and certainly some of the apostles and disciples there drank wine. I didn't stop anybody else from drinking wine. I didn't drink it, and um, you know, but I didn't pass a cup around and say this is my blood, you know, and pass some bread around and do all that. None of that. Um, I knew that it was fairly close to my death. And so I was really appreciating the time that I could spend with everyone. And there were lots of lessons that I was trying to teach during that time as well, of particularly of humility, because many of them had problems with humility. Um, so I was trying to teach a lot of those lessons, and I took the opportunity at that time to teach some lessons as well. But, but my soulmate was there, um, uh, along with many other women too. Uh, so it wasn't just all men or anything like that.